So we're gonna be doing something in this video that we have never done before. We've been working on this bathroom for over a year now. And honestly, it's taken way longer than we thought, but we have a good excuse. See, I'll put, it, I'll put that excuse right here on the screen. We have an uh, almost two-year-old baby girl. And don't get us wrong, it has been the absolute best two years of our lives. But when it comes to the progress department, more often than not, Jordan is left doing a lot of this by himself. And we wanna get this drywall done. We wanna move on from this part of the project. And there's only one way that we're gonna do that. We're going all night, baby. And having the two of us work on this drywall, we'll get it done twice as fast. We'll get twice as much done in the same amount of time. It's 4.10 right now, which means that Sadie's gonna be waking up from her nap any minute now. But the name of the game today is to make as much progress as possible. And that's gonna come when both of us can be working together. The little nugget is awake. We kind of had a short nap today. I feel like the naps recently have been getting shorter and shorter as she's getting older. My working construction time is coming to an end at least until she goes back to bed tonight. After about a week of doing this now, I feel like I finally started to figure out how to mud properly, how to mud drywall. And don't tell Kaylee this, because this is her favorite thing, but I've honestly been loving it. You're a kangaroo. Sadie's been asking for a bike now for maybe a month. So I ordered one for her online, but it's gonna take a little bit of time for it to come in. So she's been asking about it every day. Bike coming. And what else are you getting with the bike? Uh, car. <laughs> no, not a car. Maybe for Christmas. What What do you wear on your head? Helmet. A helmet. What color is the helmet? That pink. Week? What's your favorite color? Pink. That's why we got pink. <laughs> This is corner bead. I just have a little bit more corner bead left to go on. And it goes on like this. You start by spraying some spray on adhesive on both sides. When Jordan and I decided that we wanted to have kids, we knew it was the absolute perfect timing because we were in a place in our lives that we could raise our baby ourselves. My absolute main, main priority is this little lady right here. Of course, she's Jordan's priority as well. With the way our life is set up right now, these are kind of the roles that we have. He's bringing more muscle when it comes to the construction side of things here, and I'm bringing more muscle when it comes to the Sadie side of things here. And to truly be honest, I could not ask for a better situation. I feel like it was just six months ago that Sadie was learning how to go up and down these cement stairs. And now she's inclined to jump up and down the concrete stairs, AKA having a heart attack every two seconds. It's funny too, I feel like I look back at when Sade was even just a year ago and I feel like I was able to get much more done throughout the day because, you know, she would just lay on the ground and kind of wiggle around looking at her little toys or she would just take like three or four naps a day. Whereas now I feel like it's kind of a weird in-between phase where she's a toddler and she's wanting a lot more independence but while simultaneously still needing a lot of stimulation and interaction throughout the day. And it's a blast. I honestly am <laughs> loving this phase so much because I feel like I I am witnessing her turning into her own little personality and she's just honestly so hilarious. But it also is a lot of pressure on Jordan because I'm not able to do as much throughout the day to help him with the projects at hand. And for some reason, I am just like feeling so ready to move on to the tile now. Like I am so determined to get this drywall done check it off the list so it's getting to almost six o'clock which means it's almost time to have another coffee because <laughs> it's gonna be a really really long night and a lot of you guys out there are probably doubting the fact that we are actually going to stay up all night tonight 
until sunrise to get as much progress done as we possibly can. But I'm telling you guys, I am feeling this very strange motivation. I mean, this isn't gonna be like an everyday thing, obviously. But when you own a coffee business and you have some of the best coffee in the world at hand, but not only that, when you have locally made cacao, we're gonna be good to go. We're gonna be so good to go. It's also an excuse to make some chocolate banana ice cream to keep me going through the night. So here's a quick little recipe for you guys. A little bit of coconut or almond milk, some cocoa powder, big old dollop of peanut butter, and maybe like five or six frozen bananas. Blend that baby up. I almost forgot the most important ingredient, vanilla extract. I'm telling you, you guys, this ice cream here, this healthy banana nice cream they call it, this stuff is even better than the real deal guilt-free, super healthy for you. As a mom now, I feel this calling to share the things that work really, really well for me. I used AG1 as my prenatal and my postnatal, and I truly give AG1 so much credit with the fact that my pregnancy and my birth went so, so smooth, and the fact now, two years later after having said, I'm still producing a lot of her nutrition from my breast milk. And the fact that AG1 isn't like your typical prenatal or postnatal supplement, it's a nutritional drink made from actual actual whole foods. So it's actual ground up fruits, vegetables, and superfoods. So this is something that I absolutely swear by and I will always share it with other pregnant moms, new moms, or even people that are going to a baby shower and want to try to find something to bring. My health to me is my absolute priority and the better that I show up for myself, the better that I can show up for my loved ones around me. So if you guys are thinking about trying AG1, they have an amazing offer going on right now that you'll get a free vial of vitamin D3 and K to, which is a full year supply and you will also get five of these travel packs for free with your purchase so click the link down below and thank you so much ag1 for sponsoring this video and just making us feel so dang good It's 8.32 and we're just getting started, baby. It's actually taking a long time. I'm working all around this window. It looks beautiful. A little rough, but a little sanding, second coat, probably a third coat, and this will be ready to go. But right around 8.30 is Sadie's bedtime, so the amount of muscle we're gonna get in here is about to double. You wanna say goodnight to all the people? Say goodnight. Goodnight. <laughs> <laughs> Pew! Pew! I love you, Bubba. Sleep well, honey. All right, status update. It's 10.36. Sade went down probably like an hour and a half ago. I actually- Look at her little butt sticking up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I actually fell asleep for like 30 minutes as I was putting her down. I woke up, George's like, sleep another two hours. I'm like, no, baby, Absolutely. I'm on a mission. Still a lot of mudding to go. May have gotten a little liberal with the mud, but it'll be all right. And I still have to go around and do a little bit of trim with drywall. If you see, I also like, just haven't put any drywall up here, so. I'll be on drywall duty. I'm on mud duty. You're on mud duty. And chocolate duty. <laughs> and coffee duty. <laughs> it's been five minutes and Sadie's already awake. We might be doing this a decent amount. She's never slept in a room by herself. She's always just been right next to us her whole life, so. <sighs> it's gonna keep happening or do you think she'll like, fall into a deep sleep? I feel like she, she'll fall into a deep sleep. I feel like as we get more tired, <laughs> Throughout this evening. She'll get more tired. She'll get more tired. But you know what, Sade Babe? You, my girl, you are worth every second. <laughs> I gotta be honest, these here have been intimidating us for a really long time. I just feel like the second I start putting the mud up there, it's just gonna start like falling on my face. <laughs> I also gotta be honest. What? UFOs exist. This is what happens. This is what happens, Dude, you guys. Dude, they're real. Jordan gets like sucked in and he's he's got his ear pods in. He's Dude. listening to some podcasts. You have higher ranking military officials sitting in front of Congress under oath. The government has ship, the, the, the aircraft, the government has biological remains. What do you guys think? Have any of you guys been following any of this, this stuff recently about aliens? Aliens existed. And if so, what do you believe? 
Tom DeLonge was right. Tom DeLonge. He's been telling us. He was writing songs when we were kids. You know, aliens exist. He was letting us know. Good job, sweetie. That actually turned out pretty okay. For some reason, everything about doing drywall and mudding and taping is just so satisfying. Just everything works so well. See, we're not used to that here in Panama. Everything's different sizes, different shapes. These metal beams are different. So when things are like a nice consistency, the tape goes on nice. We're just not used to that. Sadie had just wake up number two of the night and it is almost 1 a.m. It's 12.42. Oh, it's tomorrow. It's officially tomorrow. We did it, honey. <laughs> we still got a long way to go though, sweetie. But it's so funny because every time I run inside the house, I have to completely strip down, wash my hands real quick because I am just totally covered in drywall and I don't want any of this getting in the bed. So while George finishes up the corner bead over there, I actually have a couple little spots over on this side. So I'm gonna try to get this seam here and then that seam right on the top. It's 1.57. It's time for a little break. Sit down on my bucket of, uh, what do you call this? Uh, drywall? Mud. mud. Sit, sit on my bucket of mud. I'm gonna interview you. This is called asking Kaylee deep questions at 1.57 in the morning because maybe I'll get an honest answer when you're this overtired. You know, I was actually, that was one oh, of the- Oh, you gotta talk into the microphone. Oh. That was one of the things I was actually looking forward to the most. Cause like, you're always, you're definitely way more like vulnerable and open-hearted and authentic when you're absolutely exhausted. Well, let me tell you, I got some questions. Question number one, how deep do you want, how deep should we go? How deep is your love, is your love? What was the moment that you fell in love with me? Oh, whoa. I said these are deep questions, honey. <laughs> I'm trying to get some honest answers out of you at two in the morning. The moment you played guitar for me. <laughs> <laughs> Question number two. If there's one thing you could change about me, what would it be? Your stubbornness. <laughs> Third and final question. What's been your hardest moment living on Lola's farm? Have Probably, you? oh, I got it. When I was pregnant and I would have to wake up like three times a night to come down and pee and I'd have to climb down the ladder open up the door, go outside, no matter how cold, how windy, how rainy it was, pregnant as can be, that was a pain in the ass. I mean, they, they locked us down in a 90 square foot school bus for like six months. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> there was times when we didn't have water. Yeah, but we figured it out. That might've been hard for you, but like, when you go to pee in the middle of the night, when I'm, when I'm being interrupted by my sleep, that's like, that's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother ballpark. That concludes the first episode of what was the name of the show again? Kaylee's questions at 1.30 in the morning. Yeah. The amount of mud that is just under every crevice in this space, on my body, on this camera right now. Honey, look at me. Is absolutely. I'm covered in powder. Absurd. We just woke up for maybe the fourth time. Look how cute she is sitting up in bed. <laughs> Kaylee's just such an amazing mom. I mean, Sadie genuinely wants to spend all of her day with her. I don't blame her either. The best part is Kaylee authentically loves being a mom. Like she doesn't have to try to want to love it. Like she just loves it. This truly is the closest that Jordan and I get <laughs> for date nights. Sometimes I'm like, honey, we really gotta like make an effort to like get a babysitter. But we are making some serious, serious progress here. I just finished that whole side, that corner over there. George's working on getting some more drywall up on this last little section here. And then in the meantime, I'm gonna try to finish up this whole left side where the window is in the door frame. Oh. Look at honey, it's gelato.
We are getting so sloppy. I literally have been dropping so many things. <laughs> it's 321. Sade has woken up like four times. I think she just senses that we're not there, which makes me so sad. I feel like my brain is starting to malfunction. It's like bit. short circuiting. Yeah. If it was pre mom and you asked me to do this, pre mom. If it was pre Sadie, if it was like, you know, before I became a mom. I know what you're trying to say, you'd be doing a lot of whining. I would not <laughs> even consider doing what we're doing right now. 348. We're almost there, you guys. This part here is all done. I just have this left. So close, but just need a little break. I want to get outside, look up at the stars listen to all the night sounds. I need to just chill for like 15 minutes. piece to put up and it's the big one it's the hard one right there it's 5 35 sunrise is in an hour i think i can get this done by then i can't believe we're doing this this is absolute madness the amount I'm of progress that we made is actually it's, oh, it's, insane it's, it's amazing i feel like neither of us can talk anymore <laughs> take a seat if you need to see i feel like I'm gonna need to recover for at least two days, but I'm gonna be like laying in bed, so happy that we finished this. I can't believe it, dude. Do you guys see that right now? 6.01. <laughs> 30 minutes, dude, until I wanna get up there. 30 minutes till sunrise. I almost said sunset. Whoa! Oh, feeling a little dizzy. But we are about to put up the last and final piece of drywall in this thing. Mom is coming, Sade, no worries. Sade's waking up. I don't know if she's gonna go back to bed. Well, I'm sorry, I super zoomed into my face. So I might be alone with you guys for this last one. Let's get this done. Just one more notch right here. Okay. Ah, come on. I'm not tired yet. Come on. Ah. Look at this. I just have five screws left to put in. And look who came out to play. That's kind of terrifying. That guy looks like he's got some poison in his bum, huh? Or maybe I'll turn you into Spider-Man, one or the other. I'm too afraid to find out. <laughs> the last and final screw. You got it, honey. Sleep I can smell is around it. the corner, baby. <laughs> Done. I'm going to sleep right here. <laughs> Sweetie? Good night. We're not done yet. We get a sunrise to go watch. Okay, bye. Get your butt down here. <laughs> <laughs> 